Scientists find new way to create nano diamonds from plastic bottles media.k.jwala. Scientists have discovered a new way to create nano diamonds from plastic bottles that could lead to new applications in biomedicine, optics, and materials. In nature, diamonds are formed under very high temperature and pressure conditions. In laboratories, scientists have found ways to create nano diamonds from graphite by stressing it under different conditions with chemicals or heat. It is a challenge because the transformation between graphite and diamond is irreversible. So if you stress a piece of graphite and nothing happens, you cannot go back. These artificial nano diamonds are very stable once formed so they can be used for many applications across multiple fields of science for example in biomedical imaging or as conductive probes for electron microscopy of ultra small samples. But until now, creating them was not easy. In the natural process of turning graphite into diamonds, the carbon atoms of the graphite are arranged in sheets that then stack up into 3D structures. For the transformation to happen, the sheets need to be heated up to very high temperatures to break the regular structure of the sheets and to force those carbon atoms to jump positions. In order to create nano diamonds in a laboratory, researchers use high temperatures 1, 600 2, 500 C, and high pressures 50 100 GPA to break the regular graphite structure. But then they need to put extra energy into the graphite to rearrange the carbon sheets into diamond structures. This can be done by using high energy beams like electrons or ions. But these methods are not very efficient. Creating diamonds from plastic bottles. Researchers have found a new way to create diamond nanoflakes. They put the graphite in a pet plastic bottle, fill the bottle with argon, and hit the bottle very hard with a hammer. The bottle explodes, releasing a super hot argon plasma inside. The argon breaks the carbon-carbon bonds in the pet and this graphite in the plastic is then stressed to form diamond nanoflakes. The key here is the amount of argon and the amount of energy put into the pet bottle to create the plasma. The amount of argon inside must be high enough to break the carbon-carbon bonds in the pet, but not so high that it breaks the carbon-carbon bonds in the graphite as well. Why is this important? This new method has the potential to be scaled up to be used in industry. It could be used to create nano diamonds that are not available via other methods. It could open new applications in biomedicine, optics, and materials such as creating nano diamonds that could be used as ultra-thin coatings on other materials. The researchers also found that diamonds can be created with different structures that have interesting properties. Nano diamonds created via this method have a hexagonal structure. But they can also be created with a distorted hexagonal structure or a cubic structure with interesting properties. This new method also opens up new ways of controlling and optimizing the process. Limitations of current methods Scientists have developed many different methods for making nano diamonds. Each method has its own set of benefits and drawbacks. The new method for creating diamonds from graphite in pet plastics is particularly interesting because of the large amount of carbon that can be incorporated into diamond from one plastic bottle. This means you can produce lots of diamonds from a single pet bottle and process them into nano diamonds with a variety of structures. However, the method for creating nano diamonds from graphite in plastics is not straightforward. It is not easy to find the right amount of argon and the right amount of energy to disrupt the carbon bonds in PET while preventing disruption of the carbon bonds in graphite. Scientists are now planning to use this method to create carbon nano diamonds with a variety of structures. 
This could open up new applications in optics, biomedicine, and materials such as creating ultra-thin coatings on other materials. More research and better tools are needed. Scientists have been studying nanodiamonds for decades and have found many different applications for them. Applying nanodiamonds to new fields of research, such as medicine, requires new methods for creating diamonds with tailored structures. The new method for creating diamonds from plastic bottles could be implemented in laboratories across the world. However, this method is not straightforward. The researchers identified that this process is not quick and easy to do. It requires a controlled amount of argon, a controlled amount of energy, and a controlled amount of time to create diamonds from graphite in plastics. Therefore, more research is needed to find better ways to control the process and to optimize it. Conclusion Researchers have found a new way to create nano diamonds from graphite in plastics that could lead to new applications in biomedicine, optics, and materials. The key here is the amount of argon and the amount of energy put into the PET bottle to create the plasma. The method for creating diamonds from plastic bottles could be implemented in laboratories across the world. However, this method is not straightforward. Scientists have found that it is not quick and easy to do. The researchers identified that this process is not quick and easy to do. Therefore, more research is needed to find better ways to control the process and to optimize it. Washington, September 4th, What Occurs Inside Planets like Neptune and Uranus? To find out, a global group drove by Helmholtz Centrum Dresden Rossendorf, the University of Rostock, and France's Ecole Polytechnique led an imaginative examination. They utilized extreme laser blazes to concentrate on what occurred subsequent to terminating a laser at a flimsy sheet of essential pet plastic. Thus, the analysts had the option to affirm their prior speculation that precious stones truly do to be sure rain inside the ice monsters on the edges of our planetary group. One more benefit of this cycle is that it could prepare for another strategy for producing nanodiamonds, which are expected, for instance, in profoundly touchy quantum sensors.